guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video today we have a poundland haul and honestly it feels like the longest time since i've been to poundland i found one that's not too far from me that's pretty good where is it i can't remember now den no is it not denton mm, see i don't know the area because i'm not i went to ikea at ashton and the manchester ikea and it's the one near there so look for poundland near there with the pep and co because let me tell you when i say that i found the best clothing that i've ever found in poundland trust me the majority of this haul is going to be skims dupe clothes that i found can you believe it? I feel like I've seen them a while on Instagram and TikTok doing the rounds and I thought, you know what, it's time to go and have a look myself. So I picked up quite a bit to share with you. I'm trying them all on with you as well so you can see how the fit is. Whether or not it's gonna be a thumbs up or thumbs down for me, we will see. But before I jump into sharing with you the clothing bits that I did get, I did also pick up just a few bits, mainly like Easter bits and things that I thought I would um, pick up and show you in fact only easter bits is it yeah okay so firstly at a pound they've got these set of five eggs and they come with um it says contains oh didn't even spot these contains paint and paint brushes so great little activity to do with kids i actually thought these would be quite nice to diy upcycle take off that silver ribbon put some jute and either keep them white or even like use the sponge and bicarb of soda mixed in to paint like a nice beige color or something to stipple on would be quite nice as well. So they, they look almost stone. Um, either way, I thought I'm picking these up for a pound, why not? And then I also got this plate um, and bunny cake stand. So I say together because they are the exact same material they're kind of like a speckled white if you can see that like really light gray speckled detail on them so the egg shaped plate i thought would be good for little um knickknacks trinkets or even little baked goods and same with the cake stand it is only quite small so it's either a small individual lemon cake oh, with some little daisies on the top and lemon drizzle gorgeous or little lemon drizzle shortbread biscuits or something stacked up on here uh, but either way that little bunny i thought was so cute i think that was three pound fifty let me refer to my receipt so i can tell you the easter egg plate was one pound fifty the bunny um says serving dish the bunny cake stand was three pound yeah and then the plastic egg set paint your own egg set was only a pound so they're the only few bits that i picked up i did pick up some other items but they were foodie bits so i put them away already um but let's just jump into the skims dupes i say skims dupes lightly because some of the things are more like you can imagine they look skims inspired and some of them are like carbon copies of what skims have produced Firstly, I'll show you these sets that I picked up. I picked up both the brown color and the black, and you'll probably be able to see better on the brown. They're like a ribbed fabric. Now these are Skims inspired, whatever, but I actually think they very much remind me of the Limitless Contour Collection that Zara do. See, I've had their stuff before. I'm telling you, it's the exact same. Exact same feel and material, exact same thickness. The brown set, the leggings are six pounds and I got them in a medium. The top is in a medium at five pounds. The only difference with the black set, and who knows why, is that the leggings that I also picked up in a medium at six pounds, the top it's only £4.50 as opposed to £5 like the brown one. I do actually prefer the colour of the brown. So maybe that's why. Maybe it's a more popular colour. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, as a good little basic set for just running errands, wearing at home, maybe doing a little yoga workout from home in them. Okay, next up I'll show you this bodysuit. This one is in a small at £8. It's double lined but just up to this point. That's where it stops. And it is actually double lined on the back as well. I don't think you'll be able to see that. But yeah, just a kind of cheeky back style, more like brief actually. So, um, but it's quite thin. Yeah, that's the only thing with this one. It's that slinky kind of fabric. So thankfully it's double lined on the top. I feel like you'd need that because it is super, super um, slinky. It's that kind of bone color, I would say, that's almost creamy cream 
yeah it's definitely not white i also got this bodysuit this high neck long sleeve one again very much like the skims one that they do this one was nine pounds i picked it up in a small it's that same slinky fabric except there's no double lining with this one because it's a darker color i feel like it's okay and obviously you can easily wear a bra with this one um but yeah nice and high neck good for layering for thermals if you've got any winter skiing trips booked or anything i feel like we're coming to the end of ski season though now aren't we i'm still on my finland hype i loved it that much but anyway we're thinking spring and summer now moving forward still getting that summer anxiety of well, how am i going to cope in this heat anyway we'll deal with that when we get to it for now um i'm still on the wintery kind of clothes with this one this little bodysuit yeah, really, really like the colour of this one. This was a sale purchase, and this is one of the items, the first kind of items that Skims brought out, that kind of teddy, fleecy, cosy fabric. And um, yeah, so I thought it reminded me of Skims. I don't know if they've got an exact carbon copy of ever having produced anything like this. Just a little crop top, racer style. It was only in the sale, this one, at £3.50. So I got it in a medium. I thought just paired with some joggers or something. I'll show you this one next. This is a high neck, like almost turtleneck, racer style again on front and back. It's quite a dramatic racer style actually. 12 pounds for this dress. I got it in a medium. And it's again, that exact same fabric as those first two sets that remind me of the Limitless Contour Collection from Zara. Is that what it's called? Do they still call it Limitless Contour Collection? I think they do. But I'm sure you guys know what I mean. But yeah, ribbed fabric, super, super soft, very, very stretchy and forgiving as well. Um, and quite thick, this one. So I don't feel like it would show every lump and bump. I feel like it would be quite a nice, um, flattering uh, material for that one. I've got two cardigans, both of which, again, are similar to ones that you can find on Skims or in the past Skims have produced. Again, firstly, that like teddy type material. They had this in a lighter brown as well, actually. And then they also had a cropped version with like a tie around waist. They did have trousers. They didn't have any in stock in the store that I went to though. So you could get like a top and trousers set. We've still got the cardigans. This one is in a large, sized up in that one. 16 pounds, nice and relaxed. And again, cozy vibes lounging chilling at home is how i'm imagining wearing this then i also got this one this i got in a medium there's no price on that let me find the receipt this one was also 16 pounds so same price as the other one i think i prefer this one i feel like it's a bit more wearable it's like a really nice beige color with a thicker rib and again it's just open with no design there's no pockets on this one but yeah i think i prefer that one of the two just feel like I said it's a bit more wearable the other one feels very much like pajama style whereas that one I feel like nice summer spring white dress under it and then just have that as a an added layer um would be really nice so yeah I also got again cozy vibes this kind of borg fabric fleece this one is hooded I think the one on skims I've seen that is similar is also hooded I think um but I'll try and insert images so you can see in a large this one was also reduced in the sale this was 16 pounds down to 10 10 pounds and I just love a fleece like this I personally like to wear these on an everyday basis like with leggings socks cozy socks boots on a dog walk that's the kind of vibe with that one. Back to basics, and um, again, that kind of slinky fabric, this time in the charcoal kind of color. Um, and this one is just like a basic cropped tee. I, I got it in a medium. It was seven pounds. They had a few colors of these, but this one was my favorite. Again, it's got quite a high neck. And yeah, not really much else to say about that other than Skims vibes. You see what I'm seeing? Right, I'm just gonna have to admit that this one's a bit tragic tried it on i'm not a fan it will be going back but i thought i would show it to you nonetheless it's kind of you know that whole like jumpsuit leotard unitard type trend it's just not me i don't think guys in a small at 14 pounds even i suppose as casual round the house comfort then fine but this slinky kind of fabric and the fit of it and everything for me and even the color just washes me out a little bit but i'm just not a fan of this one had it been in black and maybe like a super soft cotton rather than this slinky fabric then fine that thrown over with uh, one of the long cardigans thrown over for just around the house that would have been probably been more ideal for me but anyway in a small 14 pounds that's what that one's like 
that one's going back. <laughs> this was another color that they had running throughout the whole like Skims dupe section. And it's this gorgeous, rich, chocolatey brown. Now these I actually love. So if the jumpsuit had been in this fabric, again, that would have been ideal. It's a super soft cotton, really, really nice. They've also got a really thick waistband as well. So very supportive. They're probably not quite as high waisted as I'd have liked them to have been. I've just always got in comparison my Lululemon leggings, which you guys know I love. I think we'll ever replace them. Um, but yeah, they're a really nice color, really nice fabric. Um, they had some tops to match as well, like uh, body suits, crop tops, long sleeves. So uh, yeah, 10 pounds for those. Last but not least, this wasn't quite in the kind of skims dupe section vibe. This was more of the athletic gear, workout gear. They've even got a little uh, logo symbol stamp thing attached on there, which I kind of would have preferred it not to have, but whatever. Um, a good basic for um, exercising, running, whatever, lounging. Depending on how you like to wear your athleisure wear, even if it's just chilling at home. Um, I got this one in a large at £10. I quite like the fact that it's uh, cropped, something a bit different to anything that I already have. And it's just, I feel like a good layer piece for, um, I really enjoy taking Barney on jogs every now and again, maybe like once a week, something like that. And with it still being quite nippy, quite cold, I do still like to wear a long sleeve. Um, you know, I don't pick up the pace too quickly. So I don't sweat too much. So I do feel like I need that added layer, at least for now anyway, until it gets warmer. But that, guys, is everything that I picked up. What are we thinking? We're thinking Skims dupes. Are we thinking Skims dupes fail? Are we liking, are we not? Let me know your thoughts on uh, what you think of those items I picked up, if you've got any favorites. If you want me to do any more um, Poundland hauls like this and show you more of their fashion things as well as, uh, yeah, taking more regular trips back to Poundland because I used to do them quite a lot. I feel like they were a monthly thing. Now they're becoming a seasonal thing. But anyway, let me know your thoughts. I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day, whatever it is that you are doing. Sending you all my love. And I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.